In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install Google Analytics on your brand new WordPress website. So once you're in your WordPress dashboard here, there's one plugin that we're going to use to accomplish this. So go ahead and click on plugins, add new, and type in GA Google Analytics in the search box. You want the one here by Jeff Starr, so go ahead and click on install now. Once that's installed, you can click on the activate button and that'll take you to your plugins page. Go ahead and click on the settings and under the plugin settings, you want the Google Analytics tracking ID. So if you don't already have a Google Analytics account, you can get one. There's plenty of tutorials online for doing that. It's simply just actually just signing up for a Google Analytics account with your Google account. So that's really easy to do. Once you have that, you'll sign into your Google Analytics account and you'll see something like this. And I want to point out right here while we're in the Google Analytics dashboard that there are no active users on our website. And that makes sense because we haven't linked our Google Analytics account to our WordPress website. That's what we're going to do right now. What we're going to do is go to the admin icon down here in the bottom left hand corner and under your property, you're going to click on tracking info and tracking code. This is the tracking code that we need. So go ahead and copy and paste that into the plugin settings. Now there's a couple different tracking method options. The one we're gonna do is the global site tag, which is the new method as it says right there. We're also gonna include the tracking code in the footer as opposed to the header. Finally, down here, we are gonna disable the tracking of admin level users, but for now we're gonna leave that untouched just for demonstration purposes. You'll see why in just a second. So uh, once we save those changes, let's go to serial.guru. And that counts as a page view right there. So if we go back to our Google Analytics and go home, you see that we do have an active user right now, zero minutes ago. Now, like I said, we want to disable the tracking of admin level users. So we're gonna go ahead back into the plugin and check that box and save changes. And what this does is right now we are logged into the WordPress website. As you can tell by the black bar at the top, it says, howdy, the serial guru. Anytime you see this bar, that means you're logged in as an admin level user for the website. And by checking that box, that we just checked that means that the page views that you make as a logged in user to your WordPress website will not count and will not affect your Google Analytics statistics. So that's a good thing there. That's about it for this tutorial. We learned how to incorporate Google Analytics into our WordPress website. I hope you guys learned something. If not, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out and I'll see you guys in the next one.